Hello, I'm Mrs. J, and today we're going to cover section 5.4, exponential functions. And remember, the exponential function equation is this, where C is your starting amount and A is your um, growth or decay factor. To talk about the curve sum, the base, which is your A, the value of A affects the steepness. So it depends on how steep it will be. And we'll look at some examples. Um, if it's greater than 1, it's a growth. If it's between 0 and 1, it's a decay. But in either case, it is always positive. The initial value, so the changes in C affect where it crosses the x-axis. The graphs are asymptotic. What that means is they both get close to the x-axis. Exponential growth. It's like this. And so as x is getting negative, going this way, y is getting close to 0. It will never touch 0 but it will get very close to it. Decay quickly goes the other way. It decreases, but it still gets close to the axis. So as x is getting increasingly large, this is getting closer and closer to y equals 0. So this is getting positively large. So both graphs are approaching the same line. Okay, let's look at these graphs and see how they change. If we look at y equals 2 to the x, y equals 5 to the x. And y equals 10. You can see how as the number, the a value, these are all a, as a gets larger, it grows faster. So the smaller A is, the slower it's going to grow. They all cross at 1. When we shift graphs, that's where we would shift at 1. Okay. Let's try it. Now notice they're all increasing. Now I'm going to make these all less than 1. We'll go... 1 divided by 2. Oops. Oh, that's not going to work. Let's just start over. So we have 1 half to the x. Okay. Let's start it. I don't know what I hit wrong. I did something wrong now. Y equals one half. There we go. To the x. Notice now they're decreasing. Y equals one fifth to the X decreases faster. And Y equals one tenth to the X. Oops.
You have to make sure you hit the right arrow to get out of the denominator before you put your parentheses. <clears throat> so notice they're narrower the smaller it gets. One half, one fifth is smaller, one tenth is smaller. It falls faster or it's narrower. But in any case, it's still getting close. This looks close, but it is not close. Um, the computer rounds, but they are crossing at 1, and they are decreasing fast when this is between 0 and 1. Okay, let's see what happens when we just change our C. So we'll make this... 2, and out here we'll put 0.5. Notice as soon as I made that greater than 1, it went up. Make this a 2 also, and we'll put a 2 in front of it. Notice it moved it up. So I put that 2 there, and then putting a number in front of it, if I put a 5, it moved it up to 5. If I just leave the 2, so the 2 crosses at 1, the half moved it down a half, the green one moved it up to the 2. Notice the 5 is at the 5. If I change this green one, the 2, to a 10, it moves it up to the 10. So the number in front, the C value, is where it crosses the x-axis, or the, sorry I said x, but it's y, the vertical intercept or the x, the y-intercept. In this case, C is 1, and that's why the red one crosses at 1. So the C value moves it up and down where it's going to hit. But it's still all, as you go negative infinity, it's getting close to 0. Let's try one more. So we'll have 3, and then we'll have 1 third, and 3, 1 third, and we'll get rid of this one. Notice that the 3 to the power increases. The 1 third decreases. And notice the blue and the green, they are reciprocals of each other. I said reciprocals. Well, they flip on the um, y-axis, the blue and the green. The purple is just the green one moved up. It moved up to the 3. But the blue and the green flip across the um, y-axis. So play with the graphs. That way you can see, you know, if we put a line in here, y equals 3x plus 3. You can see completely different. It's a straight line. So if something's growing uniformly the same every time, it's a straight line. If it's growing by a multiplication or decreasing multiplicatively, um, it's exponential. And then the other one we had saw that was a parabola, y 
equals 3x squared. That's the quadratic. That's everything so far.